here on the back pitch at Aviva Stadium with Amy Davis. Amy, uh, you're a, a fairly seasoned campaigner in women's rugby, scrum half and out half, uh, and, and a good Six Nations campaign this, this year. But now you're into a sevens programme. Can you tell us a little bit about the difference between the 15 aside programme and the sevens programme? Um, the seven aside programme is a lot led back, um, obviously with the smaller squad and things, um, but it still is structured and a lot more running <laughs> than there would be in their camps in our 15 stuff. Um, the the structure is great. It's basically it doesn't matter whether you're 15s player dominantly or you just sort of anyone can play as long as it's a real sort of skills orientated and skills based game. The sevens and um, the some of the club players that have never been involved and. In, the Irish camps before are really standing up and putting their hand up for selection and it's this their skills are outstanding. And for you as somebody who's been on the scene for a while and you know played provincial rugby and club rugby here, is it is this an exciting move? It is, yeah. Uh, the development of the game is fantastic and especially sevens there's a greater opportunity to well it's travel more places than there would be with the, the 15s aside game. Um, I can only see it as a positive thing. The more people playing rugby, the better, the more numbers you can get into the 15 aside game and the greater sort of competition you're going to have for places. And to be honest, that's only ever going to strengthen both the sevens and the 15s game. And we saw that this season. I mean, you you were playing for a triple crown this the, this season in in the 15 aside uh, against probably one of the best teams in the world, England. But uh, the the transition from sevens to 15 aside, you think that that's going to be an important lure as well? I do. Um, I think well, obviously, if you look at the the England structure, they have under 20s, they have sevens, they have structures the whole way down, and they've just got a bigger player pool to pull from. And I think if we can set those structures in place here, we can certainly, and in past years we've given them a run for their money, but I think this will really sort of help us in pushing on and really starting to compete with them more often.